Welcome everyone to another edition of St. Mary Minute. I am here today with Kiefer Stapleton. Um, he is a junior at Amro High School, so welcome Kiefer. Thank you. Kiefer is very active in high school activities. He's a, a football player. He's a, a track athlete. He's also a power lifter and went to state this year for power lifting. So congratulations on that. So he's been very active in, in athletics at high school. And he's also very active in scouting. He is uh, just recently re achieved the rank of Eagle Scout uh, by the Boy Scouts of America, which is the highest rank uh, you can achieve in scouting. And we're here today to talk a little bit about a project. And one of the things with an Eagle Scout is you have to select, organize, and lead a team to complete a project that serves the community. Kiefer selected this uh, space that we have at St. Mary's Armro, situated kind of in between the Marion Hall and the church. And it was always, you know, I always, you know, since it was created, thought it was just a useless space. It kind of was barren, very functional. And as part of Kiefer's Eagle Project, he decided to make this a better place for uh, parishioners, a place where we can uh, rest, uh, peacefully meditate prayer and it's become named now the the uh, uh, Marian Prayer Garden. Well congratulations on the Eagle Scout. That, that's a very prestigious honor. Mm -hmm. So thinking about this project to take this on, what was the, your thought process in going through in selecting it and, and starting it up and, and who was all involved and how did that all come about? Well I think at the very start it was all the way back in 2020. I was actually doing uh, service work here for a merit badge with one of my buddies that had just gotten or had just done their Eagle Scout project not too long before that. And while we were here doing service work and, and it was during COVID, so we were just kind of disinfecting things, washing stuff. Uh, Janet actually uh, knew that I was kind of looking for a project. I was kind of in the start of doing it. And she showed me to this space that we're in now. And after I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this, this would be the perfect place to do a project because it, it just did not look very well and the space was really misused and there was a lot of opportunity that could be done with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, was there uh, any difficulties or challenges that you had in doing the project or anything that kind of, you know, like, as you were going through it that, that you kind of like, well, that was a struggle and then you persevered through it or anything about the project that was kind of, re you remember... The biggest difficulty to me was just the prep preparation and all the paperwork I had to do before it because it was all the way back in 2020 that I was shown this area and I thought, yeah, this would be a good place for a project. And from that point, I didn't get my project done until August of 2023. Oh. <laughs> so it took quite a long, a long time, time and a lot of paperwork to get to that point. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's well. And, and most of the projects are like that, right? They're not simple. Mm. They're they're difficult. Yeah. They're challenges, and uh, so you have to kind of persevere through that. Um, anything that you kind of take away from it that you've learned and and you know, from that achievement? <clears throat> it was really how to lead others effectively, even when how should I put it? You're not really used to it mm -hmm. because for me, in scouting, I'm used to being in leadership roles, mm -hmm. but. I was never in a leadership role where I'm leading a project, where mm -hmm. I'm making, or I'm making something happen like at a really grand scale. Mm -hmm. Before, I'm just used to kind of uh, leading my troop, younger mm -hmm. scouts, tell, showing them how to do things on camping trips, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But this project was at a whole another level for me yeah. in what I knew on what to do for leadership. Uh, that's, yeah, that's true. Um, so it, is, is there anything else that um, you can share with us, um, you know, about you using this space to, you know, you, you, you think maybe a few years you think back, well, I, people are using that and I was a part of a, that, you know, something big at the church and being involved in the parish. I mean, for me, the biggest part about my project being here is that I know that it's going to be used for a long time mm -hmm. and it's going to be here for a long time. Yeah. And that was a big thing for uh, my project being approved is that they like projects that are actually going to make a difference and be there for a long time. And they said specifically for mine that 
um, when they were going through my paperwork, they approved it right away because they knew that it was going to be here for a long time sure. and it wasn't just going to deteriorate like, you know, right. someone painting the inside right. of a building or something like that. Yeah. It's going to be there for a while. Yeah, just left in the spot. and mm -hmm. really. Thank you for taking this time to, to share this project with us and for doing it for our parishioners and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you.